from science fiction characters like Robbie the Robot, and C-3PO, and the Terminator, to Japanese toys and prototypes like Curio and Asimo. We have long been fascinated by the idea of building machines that look and behave a lot more like ourselves. That dream and occasional nightmare lurched a step closer to reality recently with the unveiling of a remarkably sophisticated humanoid robot called Atlas. Atlas was created for DARPA, the Defense Department's research agency, as part of a challenge designed to encourage the creation of robots capable of assisting in emergency situations, such as during a meltdown at a nuclear power plant or during a raging forest fire. To be successful, humanoid rescue robots must be able to work in environments designed for humans. Atlas can see its environment in 3D using head-mounted lasers. It can balance very effectively on two legs and it can grasp even complex objects. Simply creating a robot that can walk competently on two legs is, in of itself, a very impressive feat. While researchers have been developing robots with human form for many years, these have typically been too unstable to perform normal human tasks. The company behind Atlas, Boston Dynamics, specialises in creating robots capable of moving nimbly and adapting quickly using a combination of powerful hydraulic systems, movement sensors and control software. Previous robots created by the company include Big Dog, a four-legged pack mule that can keep its balance on ice and on snow and which could eventually accompany soldiers on missions through difficult terrain. Another robot is Cheetah, a machine capable of running along at nearly 30 miles an hour an incredible feat for a robot. The man behind Atlas and these other robots is Mark Raybert, previously a professor at Carnegie Mellon University and MIT. This is the Atlas robot. As you heard before, it's the third humanoid robot that we've built, or anthropomorphic robot we built. Uh, this one was uh, adapted the design for the DARPA Robotics Challenge. Uh, it's got um, a sensor head, two arms and two legs, and an articulated torso. It's got an onboard computer that does all the real-time control. It's tethered, so it's got electrical power coming in that drives its onboard hydraulic system. This robot is going to be handed out. There's going to be seven copies of it handed out to different teams, and those teams are going to program it to perform a sequence of tasks. The robot will have to do an array of tasks, which includes being able to navigate over rough ground, clear rubble in front of a door, open the door and pass through, has to be able to get into a vehicle and drive it to a site, get out of that vehicle. Uh, after it goes into a building, it has to be able to climb stairs or a ladder perhaps, go over a catwalk, has to be able to pick up a power tool and uh, perform an operation like take down a concrete panel, pass through the hole that it made, go and find uh, a cable or a hose and plug it in and then be able to turn a valve. That's all. <laughs> DARPA says Atlas is not designed to be a weapon, but exactly how the robot or its descendants will be employed will depend very much on how successful the challenge is. And so perhaps after years of dreaming, the very first humanoid robots may very well be on the way.